Welcome back, John Fedger here with MobileHomeInvesting.net. Thanks so much for watching. In this quick video, I'm going to answer a reader question that I got. Uh, it goes, uh, I'm going to paraphrase for you. It goes, John, if I purchase a mobile home in a park, can I quickly resell it without making any needed repairs to it? So can I buy a mobile home to rehab, not rehab it, and then just resell it, and then create a value there and take my profit? And the short answer is yes, but like all these videos, I don't just want to give you a quick yes or no answer. I want to tell you in detail why that is. So it's very good to know some back history. And before I answer the question about how we create value as investors, let's go ahead and talk about the fact that the person watching this video, you, you're going to have a long-term successful mobile home investing business with great word of mouth, uh, people like you, and you only create win-win deals. And you do that by selling uh, a, an attractively priced and priced with terms of or priced with cash, mobile home. The mobile home itself doesn't have to be attractive, but as long as you disclose all the repairs, there are repairs there, and you disclose, 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 and then you price the home accordingly uh, to make it a win-win deal. It's win for you, and it's win for the buyer. Uh, you're never sort of uh, you know trying to pull the wool over any seller, uh, buyer's eyes. You're never trying to trick any buyer just so you can make a profit. Uh, that's a terrible business strategy, so make sure that you're always creating win-win deals uh, with your buyers, people that are buying your mobile homes, and then of course the sellers who you buy from. So now that we've understood that, and that we're only going to sell quality mobile homes at attractive prices and attractive terms, let's go ahead and talk about how we create value. Now the most common way that a lot of us are thinking are buy, fix, and flip. You're going to buy a mobile home that needs a lot of repairs, needs some repairs. You're going to buy it under value. You're going to do those repairs, put in that sweat equity, that time, that energy, that labor, that material, and then you're going to create that value. And then you're going to sell the home to a buyer who wants to pay you uh, retail, a retail price, sort of top of the market, for that mobile home. Now, how else can we create value as investors? Well, if a mobile home is in a park and it's in a, a, like a one-star park, a trashy park, and we can move it, and you know the, the, the cost to move actually fits in with this deal, but we can actually move the home from the one-star park over to a five-star park in a high-demand area where people are just throwing money at mobile homes. You've created a value there, so you've moved the location of the mobile home. Uh, if you sell the mobile home and you hold payments, that means you're buying the mobile home, uh, either maybe through bank financing, through payments yourself with the seller, or all cash, you're, you're buying it, and then you can resell it to a buyer who will make you monthly payments. Uh, that has created a value there because now you're taking the risk to hold payments for your buyer so you can go ahead and charge a premium for that price. Uh, or for that service. Now, you always typically want to purchase a mobile home under value, and let's talk about quickly, uh, we'll jump to mobile homes with land. How can you increase the value there? Well, you can increase the uh, land value, you can do some curb appeal, you can increase the home value by repairing the home. Maybe you can even move an extra mobile home onto that piece of land and then sell the mobile, uh, sell the piece of land that way. Or sell the two mobile homes and keep the land. So let's go back now to mobile homes in parks or even mobile homes on land. Uh, when you think about wholesaling, wholesalers find a mobile home or they find a piece of real estate and then they sell it to another investor who wants to do all the repairs. That's what a wholesaler does. Now if we can think about that for a second and then this sort of loops back to the original question, can you buy a mobile home and then quickly sell it to, a, to an end user, to a, to a buyer who's going to live there and create a value? Well as investors we need to be able to market and advertise and have great word of mouth so that people know us and like us in the community. Community. When we do that, we're turned on to deals well below market value and realize when you purchase a great deal, a deal that you're jumping up and down for, and you should know what these deals are, um, and if you don't, there are specific methods on how to know what your buyers are paying and then how to know what the market uh, will bear so that you know what a great deal is. Well, realize when you purchase a great deal, when you get that under contract, you've gone ahead and captured that profit. You've captured that value. Realize that as investors, being the one that gets to the seller first, that can purchase that mobile home well below value, you've gone ahead and captured your profit. You've done the work that an investor needs to do. Now, can you resell that for retail? 
Probably not. Will you have to put in a little bit of work? You might have to. But if you sell the home with payments, there you, you've built in a little bit more value. You've built in a little bit more profit for yourself. So I hope that that really made sense. So if you purchase a mobile home below value, realize that you are capturing profit right there. I mean, you've done the work already to find that great deal, negotiate with the seller, and then lock that home up. As an investor, that is a lot of what we do. Uh, and then we can go ahead and turn around and then resell that uh, to a buyer, obviously for a win-win deal, again, for attractive price, attractive terms. Um, so I hope that really made sense. Thank you so much for watching. Um, by the way, uh, I'm doing a little bit of traveling right now. I'm in an island uh, called the PP Islands, spelled uh, P-H-I, P-H-I, and then these huge limestone cliffs. Uh, actually, over here, you can see, let me move over. That's where the movie The Beach was filmed, right there. It's called Maya Bay, uh, and you can't actually see where the little cove is, but it's actually inside there. Um, but this is, uh, this is fun, so thanks so much. Uh, if that made sense, please comment below. Please like this. Please share this with your friends. If it didn't make sense, you have further questions, please comment them below. Reach out. You can get me at support at mobile home investing. Dot net. Thanks so much for watching this. By the way, you may have noticed that in a lot of some of these past videos, I don't have many mobile homes in it. I'm trying to answer uh, all the questions I can that don't actually require me being in front of a mobile home while I'm traveling. Um, I got bit by the travel bug recently, and I love to travel now. It's the end of the year. I'm rewarding myself. Um, so when I get back, I promise I have a lot of big things in store with regards to mobile homes and how-to videos. Uh, so stay tuned for those. Again, thanks for watching. John Fedro with MobileHomeInvesting.net.